The coronavirus. As it ravages the world with its deadly presence, the people of Long Island cower in fear of the epidemic. But the question I have to ask is, should we live in fear? I have asked that question to several nurses working against the outbreak, and one of them made one valuable reason about why we shouldn't live in fear. I don't think anyone has to really live in fear um, because that's not a good way to live. But I think everyone needs to be conscious of what's going on. When you do go out, you need to wear a mask. Um, you need to wear gloves. You need to wash your hands. And you need to be careful if you do have your you know, gloves on that are dirty, not to touch your face and not to touch your phone and not to touch your keys because now you're just contaminating everything. Um, so I don't think living in fear and paranoia does anyone any good. Spoken like the true saint that she is. Indeed, no one should ever live in fear because of this virus. For it is not the essence of fear to which we should live by. But by the notion of caution should be taken into consideration. For if we live under this premonition of fear, we would put our society in a state of chaos and disarray. However, if we stand by the notion of caution against this growing threat, we can outlast this nightmare and preserve our once great society. But the choice is yours. Should you protect yourself from this virus out of fear? Or will you take a stand and fight this ongoing presence? One thing is for certain. Stay six feet away from others if you're going outdoors. And above all else, Oh, right.